Hello everyone, my name is Yuan Thai. Nice to see you again. And in today's video, I'm going to teach you uh, another practice of conditionals. I think it is the last practice of conditional. After conditional, don't forget to watch uh, the following videos. You know, a lot of grammatical item videos are taught to you uh, day to day. My latest video was about the practice omitting if. Let me tell you some about that, and do you remember that? Uh, okay. We use in second conditional, third conditional, and first conditional, but uh, first conditional with should in if, if clause. Mean that verb, uh, subject, and verb are inverted when we omit if. Okay. Do you remember that? If you, if you are not quite sure of that, let's go back to my previous or uh, my later video. You, you will see. It clearly how about the practice today I can say that it is the last practice of conditional for you guys okay look at the board with me practice conditionals the direction is using the given information make conditional sentences you if okay so for this practice you are asked to look at uh, the given information and then you have to write the conditional from the given information which is really different from the previous one like the first was about you were only asked to write the form or conditional the second a b c or d alternative and the third about if omitting but this one look at the given information and then you you if in our conditional it can be for conditional second conditional or third conditional or something like that okay Number one, the wind is blowing hard, so I won't take the boat out for a ride. Because now the action happening now, that's why I, I cannot take the boat out for a ride. What condition is it? It is in pre presence. Okay, then we can write something which is contrary to fact. What is it? It is second condi condition. So we can write if call here result over there. If the wind one one blowing hat. Okay. Why not version? Uh, you know that when we use in conditional, I mean verb can be applied for all person. I he she it we you they so I would take the boat boat out for a, a ride. Here conditional. If the wind weren't blowing hard, I would take the boat out for a ride. Do you think that the wind is not blowing hard now? No, it is blowing hard, so it is uh, contrary to fact. I won't take the boat out for a ride, so I would take the boat out for a ride. So you, when you use this one, do you think that you will be able to take? Uh, the boat out for a ride? No, impossible. So it is contrary to fact. Then it is second condi conditional. Number two, I feel better now because you talk to me about my problem last night. Now and last night. Last night mean already happened. Now is better. You remember one about now and past? Any? Make condi conditional so we, we can write like this. I would not or wouldn't feel better now if you can talk to me about my problem last night 
Okay. Here, third conditional. And this one is second conditional. So we combine second and and third. It is make conditional. I won't feel better now. So now, actually, now you feel better. That's why this contrary to fact. If you hadn't talked to me about my problem last night. Actually, you talked to me about my problem last night. That's why if you hadn't talked. It contrary to the fact it is impossible situation in the past. Number three, a fallen tree was blocking the road already. Yeah, so we didn't arrive on time. Happened in the past already. Does you remember what happened in the past for which conditional is really suitable? It is a conditional. Then we can say if a fallen tree hen hen bin blocking blocking the road we we would have arrived on time okay if a fallen tree had been blocking the road we have arrived on on time actually uh, a fallen tree were blocking the road and we can ride like this if a fallen tree had been blocking the road it contrary to the fact impossible situation in the past Actually, it blocked already, but when you write like this, it means just uh, something only regretful. We have arrived on time, but in fact, we did not arrive on time already because of the fallen tree blocking the road. Okay, everything is contrary to the fact, an impossible situation in the past. This way. Again, this practice refers to using the given information made conditional sentence by using if. You only read the given information like this. So this one is the cause. If the wind were uh, blowing hard, the result and I would take the boat out for right. Actually, everything is contrary to fact, impossible, improbable. Something is only imaginary. Number two, I feel better now. Now is uh, when we write if clause. I mean that a main clause here is second conditional and if here. Uh, third conditional in uh, happen in the past and, it, and the result now then it is make conditional by right? when you write like this I mean second and and third number three is everything happened in the past already so when you talk about the action or the situation only imaginary yes or something only regretful actually everything or these things didn't happen yeah didn't happen or it cannot happen again you only great when talking about this already happens actually a fallen tree blocked the road already you cannot stop the uh, fallen tree within the right on time actually you could not arrive on time at that time yeah, the result you say this one okay well uh, does it make sense everyone after my explanations remember that when we use second conditional something is contrary to fact it only impossible improbable or imaginary how about the third conditional when you talk about third conditional or something which is really contrary to fact actually it is an impossible situation in the past okay if you have any question about conditional please write your question i try my best to reply to all of your questions well, they come to the end of my presentation. Thank you very much for watching my video, but don't forget to watch it every day. I usually say that a new video come out today. When you make one video, you find it difficult to understand a lot of grammatical items because everything is taught in order. Okay, you spend around seven to fifteen minutes watching my video per day. You can understand a lot from my lessons. Okay, thank you very much. See you later. Bye bye.